This is crazy. I just had a con man rip me off. Oh, it could have been a lot worse. I could have probably gotten ripped off for hundreds of dollars, but I stopped it at 20. <sighs> Unbelievable. How can people do this? I have a wash machine that's broke, okay? I go on Craigslist to look for another wash machine because I can only afford a used one anyway. And I'm looking at used washers and then I see an ad that says wash machine repair, you know, eighty five dollars. I'm thinking, okay, well, if I can get him or get 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 a person out here to fix it for eighty five dollars, maybe that's better than spending, you know, two or three hundred dollars for another wash machine. Okay. So I call him up and we make an appointment. He comes out in a few days later. And I should have known something was up because he he lifts the washer machine and it's, of course it's full of water and I'm wondering I'm thinking to myself why you know doesn't he drain the water I'm thinking to myself why doesn't he you know get more into the wash machine and really look at it and all he did was how he have he had me hold it up while it's, while it's full of water it's very heavy he reached under and pulled the belt out. Okay, so he's like, this is your problem, you know, no no biggie, it just needs a new belt, you know, here it is, and yeah, the belt was worn. And I'm thinking, okay, and, and I, but I said, are you sure? You know, because I'm thinking to myself, that this doesn't seem right, he should look more into it, you know, and I, of course, so he takes the belt and he says he needs, you know, well, twenty dollars for the for another belt. And I'm not, I'm thinking, well, you know, he's probably not going to rip me off for twenty bucks because he's, you know, he when he comes back, he's going to make eighty, you know, five dollars to finish fixing it. I'm thinking to myself, okay, so I give him the twenty dollars, and they, he tells me he'll be back in a few days. That they'll call me you know, mid-morning, whatever that's supposed to mean. I hate it when people are so cryptic like that. Why not just give me a time? So I end up waiting and waiting and waiting today all day long. And, you know, morning goes by, afternoon goes by, and it's getting late. And I'm kind of like upset because, you know, they never emailed me or anything to tell me they're running late. And then finally the phone rings. It's almost 5 p.m. at night, and I don't like doing things at night. You know, once it gets dark, I'm in for the night. I, I like to relax. I have my robe on. You know, he's out there honking his horn, you know, and I knew it was him. And I'm like, can you wait a minute? And he's like, sure. And so, you know, I have to get dressed and go out there and open the gate for him. He drives up and there's somebody in the back of the car. I can't quite tell. And it kind of makes me nervous. So... He, he gets out of the car, you know, he has the belt. I said, oh, you had no problem getting the belt. And he's like, no, I just had to order from Sears or whatever. So he's like, oh, but it, it was 35 bucks. So here's a receipt. Okay, so he walks around to the back. I go around to the back where the washing machine is. And then I, I wish, I, I wish, I wish I hadn't have left because I got, I got nervous about the front door being open. And there was somebody in his car in the back seat. So I wanted to go around and lock my front door because I'm always suspicious of people like that. And anyone that I don't know. I mean, even people I do know I'm suspicious of. So I go around to unlock, to lock the front door and come out the back. Oh, I wish, God, I wish, I wish, I wish I hadn't have done that. I wish I would have just locked the door behind me when he pulled up in the driveway. I just totally wasn't thinking so anyway, I come around the front to lock the door and come out the back, unlock the back door. And by the time I get back to the wash machine, he's got another part in his hand. <laughs> he's got another part in his hand. And he says to me, oh, it looks like you're going to need another one of these pulleys. It just fell off. <laughs> you know, it's like, how do I know that? How do I know he didn't just yank it off? He probably did. And I got kind of upset. So I said, well... I go, you should have looked at all this the first time you were here because he kind of was like trying to blame me like, you know, it was my fault or something. And I said, you know, you really should have looked at all this before. And he's like, well, OK, well, this part is going to cost you about $60. You know, he's like, why don't you just go ahead and give me the 
the 85 and I'll be back in a few days or whatever. And I'm saying, I'm like, no, I go, you know what? I'm really not feeling comfortable with this. And, um, yeah, that's it. Because now that I think about it, you know, really he should have looked, you know, looked at the washing machine, not just have had me hold it up for him while he reached under and pulled out, you know, the, the, the belt that was on the ground. And, and if the belt was on the ground and the pulley broke, well, why wouldn't the pulley? I don't think so. I think, I really think that when I, when I came around the front to lock the door, I really do think he, he broke it off because he wanted to get more money out of me. I'm thinking he would have kept coming back, getting more money, you know, more money, more money. And pretty soon, you know, it probably would have been hundreds of dollars because he even said he, he couldn't guarantee that it would be fixed. He told me that. So I said I wasn't comfortable. And so he took my $20 and the belt. He didn't leave the belt. He took it with him. And I wasn't going to argue with him. I just wanted him off my property. He, there was something about this person that, that didn't set right with me. And I'm, I'm a pretty good judge of character. I like to give people the benefit of the doubt. But as, as I get older, I'm starting to learn you just can't give people the benefit anymore. There's just too many dishonest people around, and yeah, I, I didn't like the whole fact that the first time he came over, he brought his whole family with him. That that was very tacky, you know, I felt. And plus, he, he didn't have a local phone number. That's another thing that kind of got my attention, really. Um, I think they probably just travel. They're probably the type of people that just travel around and rip rip off, rip off, rip off, and then they go to the next state or, or whatever and rip off, rip off. That's probably what they do because, yeah, you got to be careful. Okay. I'm just so glad I didn't fall for it anymore. I mean, I, I'm, I'm glad it was 20 instead of, you know, 100 or 200 or 300 because it easily could have been. Take care.